Hi boys and girls, I hope you're all still keeping safe. I decided to have a bath today, but I can't really fit in because there's lots of teddies here. It's a bit of a squash and a squeeze. Oh, that reminds me of a wee story. Has anybody read this one before? A squash and a squeeze? Well, the author of this is Julia Donaldson and the illustrator is Axel Scheffler. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. There's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your hen, said the wise old man. Take in my hen? What a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped round the room, knocking over the jug. Oh dear. The little old lady cried, What shall I do? It was pokey for one, and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle, and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your goat, said the wise old man. Take in my goat, what a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg, then sat down to nibble the table leg. The little old lady cried, Glory be! It was tiny for two, and it's titchy for three. The hen pecks the goat, and the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your pig, said the wise old man. Take in my pig. What a curious plan. So she took in her pig, who kept chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. Look, he's trying to eat all our food. The little old lady cried, Stop! I implore. It was titchy for three and it's teeny for four. Even the pig in the larder agrees, my house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your cow, said the wise old man. Take in my cow, what a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig, then jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. Is there any dance on the table? The little old lady cried, Heaven's alive! It was teeny for four, and it's weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out, I'm down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man, but then I'll be back when it first began. So she opened the window and out flew the hen. That's better. At last I can sneeze again. She shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. She huffed and she puffed as she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house. It's enormous now. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was weeny for five, but it's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. 
And now she's full of frolics and fiddle dees It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and fiddle dee dees It isn't a squash or a squeeze. There, I hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls. In the story, it mentions some words like teeny, teensy and tiny. I wonder what all those words mean. They all mean the same thing. They all mean small. So I wonder if you can find anything teensy or teeny around your house. Or if you go out for a walk, you can see if you could find a teensy wee stone. Well, boys and girls, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you all still keep safe and I'll see you all soon. Bye!